y'all, and welcome to So Granny So. Well, today I've decided to make some baby beds. I've had some fabrics. I have actually one more kind yet. I, I am not exactly sure what kind of, kind of like a rubberized backing on it. Um, I thought these would be great for like diaper covers and bibs. So I just got this cute little pattern and I bought off a lady on Facebook. So they are adorable. So I've thought what a great way to use some of this fabric because I do have quite a bit of it here. So it's my first time making it. So another journey. Let's go guys. So to get started on our baby bib, I have decided to go with that one uh, to make it look like a monkey with the uh, fabric. In your envelope for your pattern, uh, because this is a beginner's channel, we'll go through this. So you have your pattern and it's all folded up and it has multiple different ones and it shows on here. Well, it shows on here the different ones and then it tells you what you need for, you know, say you're going to make an A bib and it gives you a half yard of 45 inch. Um, so it tells you and then about the ribbons and the eyes and ears, the buttons and the eyes, the fake eyes or whatever, uh, whatever you're going to need for notions. And then you're going to have your insert like this. And this is actually your instructions. So here you're going to have the pictures of each bib and the letter uh, that represents that picture. So here you're going to have all your different pattern pieces uh, and what they are. And then you're going to learn about your savage and your single thickness, uh, where you place them on the fabric to pin them and cut them out at. Um, and it goes a little over what I showed in the one video when you go in. You want to put notches when you have the outer ones and you want to take notches out uh, and then how you to trim your corners uh, and your outline stitch if you're doing it by hand uh, and then just more of your uh, how you're going to fold it or you know like your padding the, the batting and your bibs uh, and then it's going to start giving you directions so we are going to get started um, i'm not one to follow patterns as i've said before so I was kind of looking at the different ones and I really like this one. Um, however, because I do want to make it into a monkey, I think I'm going to go with the smaller one here uh, and try to get a monkey made out of that. So, so generally when I cut out a pattern, I'll cut out the one I want, but on paper like they use for shipping, um, like wrapping boxes with, I have some of that and I'll probably put it on that. That way this is really fragile and when you go to pin it on, if you do it more than once, your pattern starts ripping. So I like to make an, a, a copy to use and then I keep the original in an envelope inside of this envelope uh, marked with which one it is. So I'm going to go ahead and get the pattern cut out of this. These say cut four on the ears because you're going to have the front and back as a padded bib. Uh, so I'm going to use that fabric that I showed you for the front and then I'm going to use some batting and then I am going to back it with cotton for fusible fleece for batting but I'm not going to use a fusible fleece I'm just going to use a regular batting this is the hard part of a pattern and to try to get it pulled back up on her head giving me the fabric so I just didn't have a reason to use it before now I have a reason so I'm going to get those made up you got that folded back up then you can put that in the envelope that way we know we don't accidentally rip that or anything with it laying around also on here you're going to have this line here, and this is going to be your line, how you place it on the fabric. So number four here on this picture, uh, that's not the one we're using, but number four has an arrow going this way. That means put your, and so does number three, put your arrows on the fabric. So this is selvage to selvage, so that's side to side. Um, so this would be your length, your yardage. So put your arrows going up and down the yard, not going from selvage to selvage. You always want to follow the arrow of where you're supposed to be putting it at. We are going to leave these from this side to this side open on both sides. If I show you something wrong, I'm a, I apologize. It's been many years since I made any type of clothing stuff. But we'll give it a good shot. So we will go ahead and get everything out for it. And then I will meet you back here. I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and lay it out and pin it. Up, uh, not quite at the side. And then the same thing here. I did get some batting. I had a little piece here. So I'm just going to use that. Now, I've never worked with this stuff on the bottom before, and I'm finding I don't really care for it, to be honest with you. It definitely doesn't like these pins. Maybe somebody has experience with that can, that can help me out. Uh, let me know what I'm doing here with that stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get that cut out. So I just put mine 
uh, right side down and on the bottom one and right side up on the top one. I don't know, when I sew with a pattern, I just kind of feel limited sometimes. So <laughs> I like to switch patterns up. I usually use like a piece from this pattern and a piece from that pattern to make something. Okay, I'll go ahead and clean this mess up and then I'll be back. I got the mouth cleaned up, so I did find this brown here that I think I'm going to use for the ears. I got plenty of that. I found another brown I like better. However, there wasn't enough, so I went with that. So you want to cut for the ears. You want to cut two of the, of the front fabric, two of the back fabric, and then two of the inner bathing. So I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to cut this out real quick, just a little way, so I can kind of fit it on there better. I like to use as much the small stuff as possible and that was the extra that came off the bib on the batting so i am just going to use that okay let's see if i can put it perfect okay so we'll go ahead and put a pin in that i'll just pull it out of here as they won't need these on there no more okay and then we'll cut around that and I am cutting right on the line. Okay, so now we're gonna need this piece again. So we have our ear batting. And I'm gonna need two pieces of this for the front. And then we're also gonna need two pieces of the backing uh, color of this. So that'll be, uh, in my case, it's gonna be the green plaid. And I'll fold that in half. Okay, so we have those two as well. So we got all the pieces for the ear there. We know that a quarter inch in is where the holes are, or where, the, where they'll line up with these. So I am just going to take a chalk marker and just lift that up and make a line there. And when I know a quarter inch in, and there. Now we'll turn it around and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, then we're gonna take those pins out. Green is ready and it is marked. So that's going to go right side up and we're going to flip that one over, lay that on there, line that up again, and we're going to mark this side as well. Right sides together, and on top, this together, I'm going to open this up and see where my lines are so that we know we are not going to sew right there to right there. And then we'll do the same with the other side. And because this is so tough to get through with a pin, I am going to get my little wonder clips out and to pin the rest. These things are awesome. If you don't have them, you should certainly get them. Uh, not only are they awesome in sewing, they're awesome in a lot of stuff. Okay, so that's all pinned and ready to go. And then this one here, the ears, we're gonna put it together the same way. We're gonna put right sides together with a piece of batting on it. Do the same with the other one. Uh, on the pattern, they show where they put like the googly eyes and stuff. I am against buttons on baby items, so I will not put buttons. However, I will do fabric and, stitch and stitching on it. So where the eyes are on this, I will put fabric on there and stitch that on. Um, and then also with the mouth, we'll stitch that in with the machine. Uh, the nose will also just applique some fabric on. So, so you could do that to your one side before you put it together. Um, I'm just going to quilt it like that right on my thing. We're going to bring this over to the sewing machine and get started. did uh, not do the ties and the more I got to thinking about that we want to do that first uh, because when we sew this in we want the ears already tucked in and we want the ties tucked in so when it sews it onto the seam when we turn it the right way then it'll be okay. So And it called for a uh, three quarter yard of five eighth inch ribbon so we're gonna do one and a half inch strips I'll put this way fold it in half and bring it over to the ironing board uh cause end and then down one side with a quarter inch seam allowance and then we'll turn that the right way and then we'll iron that flat so we'll do that to both of these and then we will start working on the ears so i have these stitched up so once you get done stitching them, you want to, of course, trim your corners off. Okay, then we're going to take, I just grabbed a skewer. Um, you can take whatever you got. I 
chopstick works good too. Take the non-pointed end. Get started is always the hardest part. After that, it gets easy. And pull it through. Then we'll do the other one just the same. And we will bring it over to the iron mat here. And we will iron that flat. Okay, so then when you're done, you can just take a little tiny edge. It doesn't have to be quarter inch. Just real close to the edge and go all the way up, across, and back down. This end is going to be sewn in, so nobody's going to see this end. Uh, and it will have a seam going over the top of it. So just the three sides is good, and then I'll meet you back here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to sew the ears together. And we don't got to worry about sewing that together because it's going to be tucked in. Um, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to put all this stuff into this. I'll meet you back here. So I wanted to show you to make sure that before you turn this the right way, we are going to snip those edges on those. Do not cut your uh, seam there. So we're going to go all the way around like that. And then we'll turn that inside out. And I'm just going to use this to make sure we get a nice smooth curve on that. We are going to iron that up. And so... I'll finish this one and then when we come back, we'll pull these top pins out. What we'll do is lay them ears inside there. Pin that first one right there. So when we sew this, we are going to sew, bring this out. And then, you know, we got to angle it as we sew. So it's going to be angled inside of there as we're on the sewing machine we'll do that so i will bring you to the sewing machine when it's time to put the ears on in the meantime i'll get this other ear done so we can get to that point uh, i have one side sewed here uh, i was checking to make sure that the ear and stuff turns out okay um and i found if i did a double one it worked a lot better so i started with this little one just to get everything intact this one on the outside with just like an eighth of an inch seam just to get everything intact and then i went back with a quarter inch seam so we're going to go ahead and do this other side and I'll show you what I did. Make sure we get that the right way here. So the green goes opposite the brown on this one. So we'll go ahead and I'm lining that up. Let me see if I can get that out here. Okay, so you can see the lines right there and right there. So I'm lining that up right about there on the ear. And then I'm lining, I don't know if you can see that real well, but the ear and the this fabric here, the edge of that is lined up at the end for about a half an inch. So you got to kind of take this slow, keep working around, lining that edge of that ear up with the edge of the fabric. Okay, once you get to the, to the hard the seam on that ear, you're going to go ahead and lift your presser foot, make sure your needle is down. Then you're going to take your tie piece here, and I just place the best looking side towards the front of the bib and we're going to butt that right up to the end of the ear because you are going to have a quarter inch seam along with here so you want to make sure that can move freely so get it as close to that ear as possible and I just angled it over that way and pull that fabric back over drop your presser foot and continue to sew back stitch over this uh, tie to make sure it's got a good grasp on it. I had a good quarter inch seam on that. I'm just going to trim up these pieces for now. Uh, um, so I'm thinking the batting is going to be about the same. And with that rubberized backing on that, I'm not really concerned, especially now that we took a double double stitch on there with it coming undone. I'm going to turn this the right way. Push out on that to make sure it's all out of the seam. So that is what we have so far. Uh, I think it looks very, very cute. And that's the back. So at the top edge, you can either trim this out with some trim, or you can just tuck in your edges. And 
and throw that down flat. Okay, I went ahead and mine with a, or I did a trim around mine for this matters which way you do it. But I'm working on the eyes and nose here. So I have this uh, double sided uh, iron interfacing. So you can see there's blue on this side and then on the back it has paper on it. Uh, you want the double sided to make sure that these adhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my whites of the eyes. And you want it smaller than your fabric. So I'll go down about here and I'll get that started cutting that off. And then you're going to go ahead and put both of those on there. You don't want your iron to hit the glue. So you want to make sure you got it a little bit less than the, than the actual fabric. And you're going to hold that on there for two seconds. Whoops, get that glue out of there. Make sure it adheres well. We'll let that cool off. And while we're letting that cool, we'll work on the black part of the eyes. Let them cool. And then I'm going to do the nose. That one cool. And that's all we're going to need for the iron on stuff. The mouth we will stitch on. Cut them apart. We want them to be the same. So I'm just going to. Fold it in half. It's going to be like oval shaped. And we're just going to cut a circle around those. Nose, and it looks like the nose is kind of a kidney shape with a line underneath. So. Okay, and then we will stitch the mouth on. My cat's coming to say hello. Um, so we'll go ahead and Start with taking the paper off the back. Hi, Slim. Okay, so we'll go ahead and just score that. And it does have a sticky back, so you can move it if you need to. We'll score these ones. I want to make sure we have enough room underneath that nose to put that stitching. That's where the nose is supposed to be at. So we'll put that right there. And we'll go ahead and get that part ironed on. So that can't move. Yeah, I think I kind of like it like that. So we'll go ahead and put that on. So then we just got the mouth to sew yet. Take some more Taylor's chalk and draw that mouth on. And then we will mark right here. Get that stitched, and then I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, y'all, oh, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a good day.